what an incredible night. Wow. Unbelievable. It's time to say goodbye to Great Keppel Island. Uh, it's brought me so much pleasure, this island. I've been here for way too long. And uh, a cyclone season's approaching. So it's time to, uh, it's time to say goodbye. And hello uh, somewhere south. It's the beauty of having a boat. I'm um, just looking out here this morning, sun's just coming up, I've got a catamaran, a catamaran, a catamaran. Uh, they've got sails up, but there's no wind, so I'll be motoring. Goodbye, Keppel. I'll definitely be coming back, <laughs> that's for sure, I will definitely be coming back. It's a beautiful morning, so I've got a heavy dew on the deck here, the decks are soaking this time of year, means we're in for a strong northeasterly wind. As soon as that wind starts picking up, like when I can feel it on my back, I'll get out there with my harness on and hank on the head sail and uh, go from there. Hi Charmaine, guess what, it's your turn to rumble. Burnt my hands so bad on the ropes. I I can't move them. I burnt them so bad. My facial recognition on my phone won't open because I'm like this. I really, really need some fair leads. I just did a jibe. I wasn't wearing my GoPro, unfortunately. Not that you'd like to see it, but. I need some fair leads. What's happening is the rope's going round and it's just tying up straight away on the winch. It's just locking. And when I undo it, it just rips out of my hand. I got 20, 25 knots and a huge sail and it's just, uh, you can't hold on to it. And I tried and, and I've just, and hands are so important. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this head sail down now. I should show you the fair leads, but. I'm embarrassed at showing you, but... I 
basically I've got this roller which needs to go up further forward I need a, I need a fair lead here to feed the rope onto the bottom of here what happened was this yellow rope this spectra rope this roller was higher and because of that as soon as I went to take the winch on it just half hitched on here and I couldn't get it out it's that's super dangerous and uh, I eventually got it out and then I tried again and again and again and then I just had to basically lock the end of this line off and then undo this yellow line and tie it tighter uh, I don't even know how I sailed from Canada with these little winches and no fair leads I have no idea how I didn't injure myself is just a miracle uh, man I'm, uh, you're directly downwind just with a head sail like I said there's the head sail but check out Charmaine's little tiny movements we're just off you see how it's not pointing straight back on the boat you watch the little movements here I'll get the tiller in view as well so you can see see here in action Let's take a closer look. Only little tiny movements on the rudder, on the stainless rudder there. It's amazing. Tiniest, tiniest of mo tiniest of little movements and it's keeping us directly downwind if you've ever steered a boat directly downwind you've got to concentrate if you hand steering a boat downwind you've got to concentrate otherwise you'll end up jibing uh, and the boom obviously being the biggest killer
Nothing better than a shower from above. <laughs>